Oh my God, last night I went to uh, the cellar. So I, I didn't see Mike Chain a long time. He was there, mm-hmm. I guess. Does Rosebud and all them write on SNL? Yeah, Rosebud does. So it must have been SNL. There was another dude, I, I can't remember his name, but. And like the Keenan one. Keenan Thompson. Yeah. No, it wasn't Keenan. It was. Oh, um, never mind. I don't know. It was just like the writers. And like, so, dude. I think I open up, like, hey, I start talking about the, my favorite, the P. Diddy. Right, yeah, it's a great story. Okay. And uh, oh, Alex, the dude, Alex. Speaking of, uh, radio just got added to the case. Did you see that? Cuba Gooding Jr. Oh, I knew that was, I knew. He's in the documents. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I've been blathering about. We got him. P. Diddy. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We got mm-hmm. him. I've been blathering about the P. Diddy thing for like two years. I feel like this thing is kind of like, it's like, remember when the Catholic Church like yeah. stuff broke, and it's because the Catholic Church, you're not allowed to be gay. And the same thing with the black community. Like, if you could just be a gay black guy, I mean, uh-huh. you can kind of. You can now. You, I mean, you really, but you got to be fucking like, uh, like uh, amazing Technicolor dream coat RuPaul drag uh-huh. race style. You can't just be like a regular. You can't. There's no Tim Dillon. It was like, like a, you know what I <laughs> mean? <laughs> like you can't. No, say, right? They gotta keep. If you're a Tim Dillon gay, you gotta yeah, keep it secret. Exactly. Like right. Tim and did so it, back when he was young. That's yeah. right. Thing, that's the same thing with the Catholic Church. So now it's like you got the, all this repression, and that's what causes it. Yeah, I guess. Okay, that's why so, Omar was such a fascinating character because they were like, oh, he's both homosexual and. A, uh, can he improv yeah, making kid. out with the dude and Brandon, his boyfriend? Yeah, they, I thought that's an improv scene. They went whoa because they really didn't know he was gay until that happened. Oh mm-hmm. really? But he was just doing gay he brought shit. That, yeah, he, 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 brought just, that he didn't know the, the camera was rolling. He did gay shit. He goes, oh, we're on. They go, well, yeah. What are you doing? And he goes, improv. <laughs> well, wait. So I'm an actor. Yeah. So when I, I'm bringing up that story, you know, and uh, everybody's like, what? They all acted like, why would you even? Mm-hmm. And they went to the like, well, he was shit faced, but they're like, well, I mean, you talk about black stuff, but that's okay. I'm like. The f- you guys aren't all talking about. I guess they're young, so maybe yeah. it's like Elvis time to them. That P did when P was big. Is, yeah. But don't you ha- run the weekend up like the new? Like, you're not gonna have no jokes about that, right? Yeah. It's fucking bizarre, dude. People, since I got here. What there's like a silencing thing happening with it. It's not. I don't think it's to protect P Diddy. I just think it's a thing of like uh, we just don't know anything, and it's. Uh-huh. On purpose. It's We're going to wait for more information. Again, that's one of those situations where the less I know, the funnier it is. So <laughs> that's a lot of situations. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, dude. The, the situation is not... So what you were just talking about, like they can't just be gay. No, this is Roy Cohn, blackmail gay. Uh, yeah. So c- Compromise. Well, that's what yeah. I mean. That, that, yeah. But Roy Cohn, is this is a perfect example, because Roy Cohn only was able to do what he was because of like a, like a dominant culture of homophobia. All, think about all the bad things that happen. If you, if you just let gay people be gay, right. then in uh-huh. the 1950s and 60s, the CIA isn't, they have no blackmail. Mm-hmm. Think so, about all the bad shit that happens. Well, there's always kids. I, but, yeah. But, uh, well, that's the I would have thought that now. too. See, that's what yeah. I would think exactly. But there's a ton of people running around. Remember when like, uh, CNN loved getting that dumb shit, Richard Spencer, a very obviously gay man? Uh huh. No, Gooder. that's Richard Simmons. No, it's Richard Spencer, the, oh, guy, okay. the alt right guy. Mm-hmm. That's Richard Simmons. No, yeah, it is. they're not my the same guy? F- No. Oh, okay. I was under I the thought impression. you guys were online and shit. No, not anymore. Uh, yeah. No, I, that stopped maybe six years ago. So Good Richard Simmons and Richard Spencer are not the same guy. No, they hold the same view, similar oh, okay. views. All right. But uh, there's still all these Roy Cohn secretly gay people running around, and you're like, see, that's what I would have thought. Oh, yeah. well, the 50s are over. Yeah. It's, it's, it's even more scumbag. It's like, I, wanna, like, I don't want to cheat myself out of any possible thing I could get, even though... You're allowed to be gay. Yeah. If I, I think I could have some extra, cr- like Asian extra credit homework advantage in life by not admitting it. Yeah. And they all work in government still and everywhere. So you would think, like if you're in the closet now, I'm like, you're fucking, and you're not because you're hiding it from a woman you're married to. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you are fucking sinister, dude. If you gotta. Yeah. It's not gay, though. It's, it's dominant. It's enjoying being evil, I guess.